A blessed Friday to all. I am Nicole from Holy Trinity Community Davao and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel today is the parable of the sower according to St. Matthew. Let's listen to the gospel. The parable of the sower explained. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop, yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. The Word of the Lord Maybe the best question for us to reflect on is, are we hearers that can be considered good soil, where God's Word can grow and yield a hundredfold? But if we are easily swayed to sin, or if we believe the devil's lies, causing us to doubt, to fear, and to lose faith, then we are the soil that is considered of the path. If we believe God, but when trials and difficulties of life come, or when our dreams and ambitions are not met, when temptations come and we disobey the Lord, then we are the rocky soil. If we believe, but we are too busy with worldly things, worldly ambitions and cares, that we don't have time to pray or listen to the directions of the Lord, then we are the soil among thorns. Brothers and sisters, our life's journey is a struggle. It is very difficult to be a good soil. We have many concerns and cares that need our attention. We have many responsibilities. We have our families. We have our jobs and businesses to attend to. And this truly distracts us from being a good soil. I would like to share with you three things that can help us cultivate the soil and retain its fruitfulness as disciples of the Lord. The first is to pray. Let us always take time to talk to the Lord and tell Him about our difficulties, our struggles, and our dreams and aspirations. Let us get personal with the Lord and let us not forget to thank Him for the many blessings that He has given to us, having that attitude of gratitude, knowing that our Lord is always doing something good to us. He loves us and always wants the best for us. Praying is our communication with our Lord Jesus Christ and as we communicate with Him, we become closer, and as we become more intimate, we will know Him more and more, and thus allow His grace to be upon us, making us a good soil. The second is to meditate on the Word of God daily. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and all Scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. All things written in Scripture is good for us to guide us in our life. Meditate on them. See what the Lord is telling us in every circumstances of our life. The Word of God is living and it nourishes us, nourishes the soil to yield a rich harvest. The third is to share the Word of God. The first person to be blessed by the Word of God is the one who shares it 
for he will gain wisdom, grace, and the favor of the Lord. Let us also be sowers of the Word of God. We can do this by imparting what we have learned from the church or seminars that we have attended. We can also do this by living out our faith and be role models for others to follow. Or you can also be like Andrew, the apostle who introduced Jesus to Peter. You can also share inspiring videos and messages to your friends and family and be a hope giver. Brothers and sisters, friends, let us sow seeds of faith and let it grow and yield abundantly for us and for others. Have a blessed weekend. God bless you all.